Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I've got another racket review for you guys. I will be reviewing the Babolat Pure Arrow VS or the Versus as I like to call it. It's a pretty hard racket to find these days because of how well Carlos Alcaraz and Felix Oje Aliassime have been doing with this particular racket. So it's been sold out in a lot of places, hard to get your hands on, but I've got one and I'm gonna review it for you guys today. Make sure you guys stick around to the very end of the video so you guys can see the mic score for this racket and see how it compares to all the other rackets I've reviewed so far on this channel. If you guys are interested in seeing more racket reviews on this channel make sure you guys drop that like right now and if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button right below so that you don't miss any of the future uploads and if you guys are longtime subscribers and are looking for ways to support the channel you guys can use that super thanks button right under this video right here it's a way that you guys can donate to the channel it helps me produce even better content for you and it's gonna highlight the comment that you use a super thanks for so that everybody can see it as well as myself. It's gonna make sure I don't miss your comment. And you guys can also shop for new tennis gear using my link to the racket guys, which is gonna be in the pinned comment below. With that being said, let's jump into the review of this awesome racket right here. We're gonna be taking a look at the Pure Aero VS today. This racket is used and endorsed by Felix Oje Aliassime and Carlos Alcaraz. Now, as you guys know, being tennis fans, Carlos Alcaraz is the current world number one even though that's a little bit debatable with all of the points taken away from Djokovic. As you guys can see, I'm a big Djokovic fan, so you guys probably know my stance on that. But nonetheless, the points and the rankings show that Carlos Alcaraz is the number one player in the world, and this is the racket you guys see him using on court. So of course you guys know with that being the case, this is gonna be a super popular racket. The question is, is it a good one? Spoiler alert, yes, this is in fact a good racket. I mean, Carlos Alcaraz wouldn't use it if it wasn't a good one. When it comes to the Babolat Pure Aero VS, this racket is typically sold in pairs. The reason why is because Babolat wanted these to be for highly competitive players. One of the things that competitive players look for in their rackets is that they are weight matched. And that's actually what happens when you buy a pair of these Babolat Pure Aero VS rackets. They are from the factory weight matched to within one gram. If you're a competitive player looking to have predictable and similar performance from all the rackets in your bag, this is definitely a great choice for you because like I said, they are weight matched from the factory. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but a lot of the rackets you buy off the shelf, if you were to buy two of the same one, odds are that their weight can vary by quite a bit. But if you want peace of mind knowing that you have the same weight without fidgeting with any lead tape or anything like that, you go ahead and buy these VS version of the Babolat rackets and they guarantee that for you. The next thing I wanna tell you guys about is the specs of this racket. This goes out to all the tennis nerds out there, starting right off with the head size of this racket, which is 98 square inches. Now that in itself is a pretty unusual feature when it comes to the Babolat Pure Aero rackets. They usually have a larger head size. The standard Pure Aero comes with a 100 square inch head size to allow for maximum space and creation of spin. This one right here goes down a little bit to 98 square inches and that's to add a little bit of control to the frame. Next up is the length, standard 27 inches, exactly what you would expect. The strung weight here is 320 grams. For me, I feel like it has just a perfect amount of weight to have good stability and plow through the ball without being too chunky and clunky. This racket actually plays like a heavier racket in my opinion when you're striking the ball and that's something that I really enjoyed with this racket. In terms of the balance of this racket, we are looking at six points headlight so this one really swings through the air beautifully, exactly what you would expect from a pure aero racket. I mean, they were built around aerodynamics and making sure that the racket swings quickly through the air. So of course, that would actually help it being a little bit more headlight. So it's six points headlight. And moving to the last part of the spec sheet here is the string pattern of this racket. Again, we're looking at something pretty unique here. It is a 16 by 20 string pattern. A 16 by 20 string pattern is pretty unusual. It's more common in Yonex rackets, and it's actually the string pattern that I have in my V-Core 95 racket. So again, you guys can tell what Babolat is trying to go for here with the VS version of the Pure Arrow. They're looking for more control. They're looking for more stability. They're looking for a little bit more plow through the ball and that's what they're trying to achieve through these specs right here. All right guys, so now that we've geeked out on the specs of this racket, let's go to the tennis court and I'll show you guys exactly what this racket looks like on court. I'll tell you guys my initial thoughts on how it performed and my opinion on this racket. Stepping onto the court with the Babolat Pure Aero VS. One of the things I wanna tell you guys right off the bat is how much I enjoyed hitting with this racket. It was such a nice change up from the racket that I normally use, which as you guys know if you've been following the channel is the V-Core 9 
95 from 2018. So I've been using the same racket for a long time. So to switch it up and to try something new, I always love those opportunities. And this was definitely quite different and quite unique when compared to my V4 95. So going to the bigger head size was great because it allowed me to have a little bit more freedom in terms of where I'm striking the ball on the string bed. The sweet spot was absolutely huge on this racket and the stability was fantastic. One of the things I didn't like about the standard Pure Arrow is that I found that the stability is sometimes a little bit lacking, especially when you're getting a hard shot coming at you from the other side of the net. That's something that this racket does extremely well. I found that my defensive points with the Babylon Pure Arrow VS were greatly improved even compared to my Vcore 95 and the standard version of the Babylon Pure Arrow. So the weight behind this racket and that added swing weight that it has really comes through the ball beautifully and gives you a ton of control and it gives you a lot of precision. Now one of the things I actually like the best with this racket is that stability and the swing weight of this racket. I felt that when I had the opportunity to step into the ball, I could hit clean winners with this racket. And if I didn't hit a clean winner, it would definitely open up an opportunity to do something with the next shot. So that I absolutely loved with this racket. I also found the serving was fantastic. Spin generation was super easy. Honestly, I have nothing but good things to say about this racket and I can see why Carlos Alcaraz likes this racket so much and why he uses it on the tour. And then as you guys know, swinging the racket with a pure arrow, their whole thing is aerodynamics. I mean, it's right in the name, pure arrow. They're all about aerodynamics and the throat of the racket allows it to just glide through the air and I found that it swung super quick even though it's slightly on the heavier side. Another area where the normal pure arrow suffered is at net and I found that again this is where the stability of this racket and that extra little bit of weight that it has a tighter string pattern allowed it to do an even better job than the normal pure arrow when it comes to net play. You guys know Carlos Alcaraz loves to take control at the net and this racket is super precise and super stable if you're able to get yourself into that position. So I really enjoyed it. I mean, it did take me a little bit of time to get used to it um, because the precision on my Vcore 95 is like extreme. It's really, really precise and great at net. So it's hard to compare other rackets when it comes to moving forward to the net because none really get to that level in my opinion. But this one was really, really close. And it was definitely something you can work with if you're somebody who likes to come forward and take control at the net. One of the things too is I like the way this racket looks on the court. I find that the banana yellow of the normal one that was all yellow can be a little bit too much. This one's a little bit more subtle with that dark gray kind of charcoal look with the yellow accents. Looks okay but uh, a little bit unimaginative when it comes to the design of the racket. Now, who would this racket be for? This racket is definitely for more advanced players, especially competitive players looking to have matching rackets. This is a great option for you since it kind of takes some of that work away from you where you don't have to go and try different rackets, putting them on the scale and, and adjusting lead on them. So this one, if you can just buy two matching ones, it's super convenient for more competitive players looking for that in their racket. And it offers everything you need to excel and do well on the tennis court. This racket, I got to admit, gave me a lot of thought of potentially switching. I've been with my V495 now since 2018, so it's been a long time with that racket. I'm looking for something a little bit newer, a little bit fresher. This one is definitely towards the top of my list of potential rackets to switch to. And that's saying a lot because I don't like to switch rackets very much. So that is the highest praise pretty much I can give to a racket and this one receives that. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed that on-court hitting with the Babylon Pure Aero VS. Now that we've done that, let's jump into the mic score and please remember this is my opinion and if you guys have your own opinion on this racket and you guys have tried it, please leave that comment in the comment section below. We'd all love to see it because this channel is where we can share our own opinions on all the different rackets and hopefully help people make the right decision when it comes time to buying their own racket. I'm gonna throw the mic score on the screen right here. As you guys can see, this racket falls slightly into the higher end of the list, right under the Dunlop CX200. You guys can see they're actually tied for points at 48 points in total. Now, what did this one come down to? I found that the styling was pretty good. Like I said, that charcoal color was pretty understated, but it's not creative at all. It kind of just looks exactly like all the Babylon Pure Arrows. I understand they're kind of branding them. They want them to look the same, but at this point, they've had the same design for so long that it's becoming quite stale. I'm looking for them to change it up. I mean, Wilson has done it with their rackets. They tend to try new styles out, which is really cool. 
Babolat a little bit uncreative when it comes to the styling and the design of their rackets. For those reasons, I gave it a seven out of 10 in styling. Moving into the next category there is the power. Now this was actually a huge surprise to me because normally the Babylon Pure Arrows are known more for their spin rather than their power. But this one, because of the design of the racket, the weight that they've put into the top of the hoop compared to the other one, you can really crush the ball and get through the ball beautifully with this racket. It has excellent plow through because of the swing weight on this racket. So you can get some serious pop. And depending on what strings you add to this, you can have an amazing power racket out of this one right here. As you guys can see by what Carlos Alcaraz is able to produce with the same racket. And that's why I gave it a nine out of 10. Next up is the control category here. Definitely an improved control over the standard Babylon Pure Arrow. It has the spin, it has the power, but because of that tighter string pattern, that 16 by 20 compared to the 16 by 19 on the standard version, and the little bit smaller head size allows it to have a little bit of that precision edge over the normal and standard Babylon Pure Arrow. So if you're somebody who used that normal 100 square inch version of the Babylon Pure Arrow, and you were looking for something a little bit more control oriented, but familiar at the same time, perfect racket right here for you. Because of that improvement in control, I gave it an eight out of 10 in control. Okay, next up is maneuverability. The racket is quite maneuverable. They actually thin the beam a little bit compared to the standard version, which makes it quite easy to maneuver around. The weight is a little bit on the higher side, which can make it a little bit slower compared to some of those lighter, quick rackets on the market, but it is quite maneuverable. Like I said, they have that arrow design in the throat, which allows it to swing quite quickly through the air. So I think it has quite good maneuverability in terms of the weight and the design of the racket. Next part of the racket is the feel of the racket. They actually stiffened up the frame quite a bit compared to the normal one. When it comes to the VS version, like they said, they want it to be for competitive players and they want you to have great connection to the ball. Because of that stiffer frame, you do feel where you're impacting the ball on the frame. You can definitely feel that clean, crisp hit when you hit that sweet spot of the racket has really good feel, excellent at net. That's kind of like my barometer as to how good the feel is, is when you come forward to the net, can you execute what you want? What is the feel like when you're getting some of those harder shots coming at you at short distances? This one can handle it and you can control the ball quite well and really know where you are in terms of where you're striking the ball on the frame. And I love that in a racket and this one delivers it really well. So I gave this one an eight out of 10 in feel. The final category here is the cool factor of the racket. Now, like I said, this racket is endorsed by the current world number one, Carlos Alcarez. I'm not sure if you guys know, but a lot of players actually don't use the racket they endorse. It's actually just a paint job over another racket, but Carlos Alcarez actually uses this racket, which I think is really cool. So you know you're using the same type of racket that Carlos Alcarez is using. So if you're a fan of Carlos, and I know that there's a ton of you guys out there, that adds to the cool factor quite a lot with this one. He's a super fun player to watch, super explosive. His game is super dynamic. He gives you a little bit of everything on the court. So if you can imagine playing like that, how does that not add to the cool factor? And of course, for my Canadians, Felix Oje Aliasim also uses this racket. So that is a little bonus cool factor for all the Canadians that watch as well. Besides just the players that endorse and use this racket, another thing that I think adds to the cool factor is just how unique this racket is compared to so many other rackets. Considering the fact that you have to buy this racket in pairs, the fact that they're weight matched, that they're designed specifically for competitive players, I think all that is super interesting, very cool. And I'm happy that Babolat has come out with such a cool and unique racket such as the Babolat Pure Arrow VS. And guys, that is gonna wrap up the review of the Babolat Pure Aero VS. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like on this video. It really helps my channel out so much. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button either in the corner of this video or right below the video. That way you won't miss any of the future videos coming out. I've got another racket review coming out for you guys next week. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Notification bell is on so that you guys don't miss it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and keep swinging.